talking TNF. Philip Rivers going to Arrowhead tomorrow. They've lost nine straight, the last nine against the Chiefs. Uh, the first thing that you think of when you hear the name Philip Rivers is okay. what? Little word association. Just warm us up sure. here on a Wednesday. So many great moments. But I go right to the beginning of his NFL <laughs> career. I can't forget the 2004 NFL draft and what could have been. Remember, Eli Manning was drafted by the San Diego Chargers. The Manning yeah. family refuses to go to San Diego, that horrible place to live and spend a life. Instead gets to go to the Giants. Rivers goes from the Giants to the Chargers. And then you got Roethlisberger mixed in there, too, who could have gone above both of them. So Manning, Rivers, Roethlisberger. But the fact that, e that Eli Manning has spent his entire career with the Giants is still doing it. Ben Roethlisberger, entire career with the Steelers, We're still doing us. it. Those guys got two rings each. 2004 draft, what could have been if Philip Rivers was elsewhere and what could be mm. this season? When I think of Philip Rivers, I think about the massive, massive numbers that he spins at bulk grocery shopping. Yeah, get into I mean, it. Listen, whatever <laughs> the grocery store you go to or warehouse grocery store you go to, he's pulling up in a flatbed. Mm -hmm. He's leaving. It's, yeah, this guy. And the stresses of them having to buy, you know, 42 apples and 60 <laughs> 42 muffins. apples yeah. <laughs> and sweaters and also a jewelry in the same store. coloring books. It's a warehouse. <laughs> You're buying okay. sweaters at the grocery store. I, I, it's yeah. it's the bolt grocery store. <laughs> the, the big box store. Yeah. Yeah. The big box. Well, I know. Yeah. Yeah. They give the samples yeah. Yeah. and you do not, the lap. The brand is not bad. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going with bolt grocery shopping. Get yourself hey, a soft pretzel yeah. there too. Exactly. Me and my yeah. wife got three kids at the crib, and we go there. I couldn't even imagine what Lip Rivers is spinning there. What do you think that? pantry looks like what it probably looks like uh willy wonka the chocolate factory yeah, their pantry is bigger than the stuff and he got the little oompa loompas running around he, he doesn't get the regular car he gets the flatbed the flatbed first. and that's just for the yogurt yeah um i'm gonna see phil rivers he, he can't really run he can't jump over people he doesn't do no look passes but still this is the word that comes to mind yeah. i can't take my eyes off this athlete it's one of my favorite guys to watch the rubber face factor is always like in an 11. there's always a thing in the chargers games where something happens and they'll cut away to rivers yeah. and if it's good he does an amazing reaction and if it's bad he does an amazing reaction you could be on the field it could be off the field i still think with all these amazing athletes who do these things and, and saquon no doubt he's my most favorite player to watch I in the nfl that. i love watching phil all right erase those boards please you guys can play along at hashtag gm if you following the loss to the seahawks monday night the vikings fired offensive coordinator mm. john DiFilippo just yesterday but let's look at the positives here yeah the best offensive mind in the nfl this year has been who let's mm. give some love at the table this morning okay all right best um, oc of the year all right i'm gonna I'm go sure an award. I'm going to run this thing like Eric Bieniemy back. I'm going with Eric Bieniemy right here. Now, I say best offensive mind because he's sitting under the tutelage of Andy Reid. And the fact that Andy Reid has always been respected as one of the most beautiful minds. And I love that Eric Reid is... He's the recipient of that. It's almost like he's getting the secret sauce and he's going to use that for a recipe of success for another team. When it comes to head coaches and guys being interviewed in the offseason, I guarantee his name just comes up multiple times. Shout out to Eric Bieniemy. Offensive coordinator of the Chiefs in 2018, Eric Bieniemy. Who was the offensive coordinator of the Chiefs in 2017? Matt Nagy. Ooh. Matt Nagy. I, 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 look, I know that other teams put up more points and I know other teams do more dynamic things out of the wishbone. This guy has so many trick plays, and they do get, he's got the courage to call yeah. it. Mm. They call that Oompa Loompa play, that, that double reverse to a pass that was crazy. with the game on the line. Crazy. On Sunday night's win, I know we've seen the play Bradley Sowell's touched on a million times. What people don't realize, there were five defensive ends on the field also playing fullback, playing other tight end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Matt Nagy is a mad genius, and like I said, Sean Payton, Andy Reid, all those guys, Sean McVay, we're going to talk about them. Matt Nagy has impressed me the most this season with the creativity. Nagy's been awesome. I love this guy. This is my dude right here. <laughs> Gase. It's a face great emotion. Gase. Um, first of all, as an offensive mind, sure, he gave us Boise, the whole deal. We, he's got the Dolphins in it. He beat the Patriots. But I also look at him as also my favorite offensive mind. Like, you, you take offense <laughs> to it. I love his attitude. I love his demeanor. I can't say this for sure. I see Adam Gase as a big middle finger while driving guy. You know, that's just kind of his style. Yeah. Maybe even a get out at the red light type yeah. guy. Roll like, the window what down are you guy? doing back there? On the phone and everything. And I like that. He's <laughs> ice cold. That's his face. Win, lose, or draw. And I think it works for the Dolphins. Does he have yeah. a Calvin and Hobbes bumper sticker where he's peeing on a logo? Yeah, oh, like a big old wow. corporate logo and everything. <laughs> he does not have yeah, that. It, it's, uh, if you don't like my 
my driving, I won 800 you know what. That's it. <laughs> my kid beat up your honor student, Adam Gase. <laughs> Far side. Next question. <laughs> so after their win against the Panthers Sunday, the Browns played, I don't know if you guys knew this, the Kenny Loggins Top Gun hit, Danger oh, Zone, yeah. throughout the entire stadium, okay? The iconic soundtrack song that you want to hear at a stadium is Blank Song at Blank Stadium. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. This is good. Because right. he wakes up dangerous. Right? Yes, danger he wakes up zone. feeling dangerous. Oh, good. He hit him with the danger zone, the top gun hit, the entire stadium. It okay. might be a thing now after oh. after wins, like Club Dub is for the Bears. <laughs> Let me see here. All right, I got all right. something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just put this up right now. I'm gonna go with the Chiefs, all right, and I'm gonna go with the Beverly Hills Cop 2 soundtrack. <laughs> the, the, it's just bangers. Corey Hart's here. The Pointer Sisters, Seeger, Good. Jermaine Jackson on the soundtrack. But most importantly, there's a George Michael song in which he talks about what he wants. And he's very clear oh about it. You want your piece. Peter, this is basically how you feel about Mahomes. And let's think <laughs> about Mahomes. What George says is, it, this is natural, this is fun. Yeah. And think about a matchup, it's best when it's one-on-one. -on -one. You got one-on-one -on -one Mahomes, he's going to get what he wants, just like George did back in the day. I love you, George. I love Pat Mahomes. This is the one they want. All right, I'll jump in. I I'm going with uh, the Rams, all right, because they need to bounce back. But this is one of the best songs of the 80s, and I'm going uh, Elder Bar's Rhythm of the Night. This song works. They got it works. Every time you hear it, you tap your feet. Listen, to the beat of the Rhythm of the Night. There he is. There's that handsome man right there. But listen, I need to you guys to <laughs> you feel me? It's a yeah, song. Dude. But you gotta you hear what I think. Get back to your rhythm, though. Yeah. Get back to your rhythm. You guys lost your rhythm when you went to Chicago. Now you're back in LA. All right, calm down. Take a breath for the rest of the season and postseason. Get back to the rhythm of the night. And the bars, man. I mean, what a family. So talented. And you know, Bobby the bars. Rest in peace, mm. man. Rest in oh, okay. peace. Oh, okay. We lost him early, didn't we? Yeah, we lost him early. He's still man. one of the best. Wow, Peter, he got you. Uh, I was waiting. I'm he not got letting you. I don't want to bring George Michael, too, not dragging man. me down. George Michael, Both these guys I don't want to bring him down. He's raining people. on your parade. The, the artist, you know, we, they, too soon. Yeah, uh, we're going to move right along from that. <laughs> That's an inside joke. If you watch our show, you know that Nate loves going with a person who's passed away right before I go with comedy, which makes it really easy on me. In 2001... There was a movie that changed my outlook on adulthood. Okay. Okay. It was called Belly. Oh, you oh, talking DMX? You talking about Nas? Wait, Belly? You're talking about what? Oh, with me. You're talking about DMX. And there is an opening scene. Ooh! Where the blue lights are down. Hype Williams sets the whole thing. Talk about it. And you walk in and it's back to life. Yeah, ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> okay, we can't say. To reality, right? Yeah. Yeah. Soul to soul. Soul to soul. Ooh. However do you want it? <laughs> Whoever wants it, however Great you want, we'll give it to you. The Bears are that team right now. Souls okay. the Field. However do you want it. Okay. However do you need it. Okay. <laughs> Back to life. Back to reality. Back to reality. Um, the Bears. Okay. What is Belly? I like Belly's that. Why is it called movie. Belly? You haven't seen Belly? It's the Belly no. of the Bears. You lost never, all your street credit. I've never, belly I've never heard Belly. You've been building it for three years? I don't years. know. I had street credit. Yeah. Now DMX, Nas, T-Boz. got a classic, bro. Yeah. I've Nas. never seen it. T-Boz plays oh. Nas's girl. That is yeah. a good call. Oh, good call. You see that? I thought you were talking about Honey with Jessica Alba. No. I was thinking about her belly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's good. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's great. It's Number really four, good. Patrick Mahomes broke scene. the internet. Opening scene is fire. Okay. And, and it's just show. basically establishing themselves. This was fire. A ridiculous no-look pass in Sunday's win against the Ravens. This broke the internet. It broke our show. So you just want to stretch your legs a little bit? Yeah, let's do yeah, it. Let's, let's get up uh, and let's have you guys act out a no-look move that you Okay. All right, Nate, you up? Play. I'll go no first. Look. I'll go first. So, all right, I feel like, all right, to all you teams out there, There, this is money, and it hasn't been done. Okay. All right, so Schrager, yeah, you're gonna be in the back of the end zone, okay? okay. You're over there, Kyle Grant, yeah. 